This video may contain sensitive subject matter or graphic imagery that some viewers may find upsetting or disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, Internet! Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. So, last time, things got weird. But that's honestly kind of the norm. The norm is the weird, and the weird is the norm here on Doki Doki. So, at the end of the last episode, we were about to embark on some nice quality time with our girl Yuri here. But, she would like to make some tea first. So, let us make the tea. I wonder if anything weird will happen. Not at all. Thank you very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention, uh, not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. I don't remember it saying the kind- Oh, it, it did. I think it did, because I made a Brita joke last time, yeah. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in on the teacher's desk and then we'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially being, uh, especially being for her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. That, that, that's okay. You, you stay here. Oh. Oh, okay. So this time she goes and does it by herself. I won't take long. Picture in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Minika. Ah! Did Yuri leave you again? No, it, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Yeah, Monica, you picky, nosy little... Ten minutes pass? What? Yuri said it wouldn't take long. I Last time we filled it up from the water fountain, which was next to the classroom. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. Um, We're going to find something we don't want to find. Let's see. No, this is, okay, so this is not internal, so let's see. The most logical place for... Oh, it's interesting the music now sounds muffled as if it's coming from the classroom itself and not actually the game. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Question mark. <sighs> What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <sighs> A sharp inhale. <sighs> Like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around. Yuri, oh, what's the what's the art gonna be? Oh, Jesus! Gah! Oh my God, she was cutting herself. So, yeah. Okay, this is the thing. Oh man. Oh man, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, it's going in reverse, it's going in reverse! I'm back! Okay, that's interesting. Thanks for waiting patiently. Joshua, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah! Okay, so I guess our character just doesn't know that yet, but we do. Alright, so we always, I always kind of figured that she cut herself. When, uh, the, the first time it was when the thing where we walked in and she hurriedly pulled her sleeve over her arm when she was in our room in the last universe. But okay, so now we definitely know. They've made it abundantly clear. Yeah, anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? <laughs> In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. I okay. Ah, man. This just, it all feels weird now, man. 
Oh, I feel bad. Anyway, to my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. Oh, everything has so much more context now. You must be in a good mood now. Oh, God. Oh, 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 Yuri. Oh. Is that so? I was letting it show. Had you noticed? Oh, God, is it like she's afraid to be happy? So she, like, oh. Yeah, I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try expressing myself a little bit more. Yeah, you, you, you should. It turns out uh, it's not very hard for me to do that. When it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. That's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself... Yeah, please. Please don't push yourself too much. You're always worried about me, Joshua. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. Yeah, I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Joshua, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Huh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Uh, no worries. I just have back pain fairly, fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? And I wonder why that is. It's most likely because of my... Oh, uh, now here's the thing. So originally I made the joke because she has a fairly large bust and women with large chests do get back pain. But I wonder if there is like an if there's like a reason related to her hurting herself now or something. Like I wonder if there is a more darker context that we'll find out. Because now I just don't trust anything. Ah, my, <laughs> your posture, right? Still, I I respect the save, dude. Okay, my cat. There was a, there was a, an inhale in my room, and so my cat woke up. Okay, that scared me. Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes, I have terrible reading posture. That's it, definitely. That's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. Oh, what is gonna happen with the chocolate? It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I don't really understand chocolate candies. I just kind of, I think there's candy and then there's chocolate. And those are kind of two different things. I don't really, I don't know. I don't really know what it means by chocolate candies. I have a hard time. Unless that means like, unless it's talking about something that isn't like pure chocolate. Like Hershey's Kisses or like those lint ball things or something. I don't know. Whatever. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. I've never found, I guess it depends what tea you're drinking. Yuri and I then sit against the wall teacups at our sides. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Now, I can't see too well. <gasps> the gasp. Yuri slides closer, our shoulders are touching. Until our shoulders are touching. I thought last time it was until our shoulders were almost touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, it's, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup? Yuri hands- oh, no, it's your teacup. She hands me the teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now, I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Still. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the priority here, definitely. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression. I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Ellipses of focus. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the... Whoops. Fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Ah, sorry. I briefly let go of the book and finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Ah, that's... That's okay, I won't take any. Eh, yeah, are you sure? Well... If I touch it, I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. No, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, Joshua, you dingus. My bad. Oh, no need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. 
All right, so it's the same art. Is anything creepy going to happen? Is she going to get that creepy look on her face and run away again? Yuri opens the book with both hands. He holds it so that uh, I don't have to, I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. But as soon as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Oh, man, arm on a leg, dude. That, that's how you know you've made it. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally, totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Ow! Then I take another chocolate. And I shove that one into my mouth as well. I gorge myself with my gluttony. I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. This is not going to end well this time. I guarantee this is not going to end well this time. She simply parts her lips as if this situation was completely natural. That means, but it, that means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs confirmation what just happened. Um... Joshua? S -s Sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh-oh! Music stopped! Music stopped! This is bad! Uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... Joshua... Suddenly, Yuri forcibly grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Oh, no. My teacup gets knocked over. Joshua. In the closet. Oh, no. What's happened? My heart. My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Joshua. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Joshua? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Mm -hmm. Why is this happening to me? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Oh, this is her. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even makes me not want to read. I just want to look at you. Okay. Hi, Yuri. Ah. Unless it's maniacal laughter, I don't know. Ha! Ah! Ah! Hi, Monica! <clears throat> this is a compromising position, isn't it? Mm hmm. Um. It's time to share poems! What the f- What? What exactly just happened? That? Okay. Well, Yuri's path is just full of fun, isn't it? But, on the bright note, we totally grabbed a boob, guys. Chalk that one up for the scoreboard! No, this is terrible. This is, I, oh my god. Oh god. <sighs> Let's share with Yuri. Please. Please be okay. I've been waiting. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I've been waiting for this. Let's see what you've written for today. Ellipses of reading. More ellip double ellipses of reading. Yuri stares at the poem with surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? I think I have to. No. Oh. Excuse me, terribly sorry. Joshua! This one might even be better than yesterday's. How did you ever pick up this so quickly? Just yesterday, I was telling you the kinds of techniques worth practicing. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to give it more imagery, imagery, whatever that word is. Yuri visibly swallows. <coughs> Even her hands appear sweaty. Again, Mom's spaghetti. At least she didn't throw up on herself, though. Ah. That makes me so happy. Oh, God, don't make her happy, because... Oh, oh. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Joshua. Oh. 
Oh, do you not feel valued normally? Oh, Yuri. Oh. Everything, everything that you write is a treasure to me. Okay, to be fair, I do that deliberately, so I feel, I actually kind of, now I, I actually feel fairly manipulative right now. Oh. I guess, hmm. I don't know, I guess it's, I mean, I am writing it to her taste, but I don't think that is inherently manipulative. I, I don't know. Man. Huh. My hot pound's just holding it. Oh no, we know what that means. <laughs> I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Joshua? I'm not being weird, right? No, you're weird in the closet, Yuri. But this, you know, in comparison to what the things I've seen today, this is fairly mild, man. I'm, I'm having a, a harder time than usual t at concealing my emotions. All right, that, yeah, concealing emotions is something I can relate to. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want to, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay? Oh, she looks so happy there. Anyway. Wheel. Um. Oh. This is new, isn't it? I think this is new. I don't think I've read this one. I could, I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> Wheel. A rotating wheel, turning on axle, grinding, bolt, bolt head, bolt head, yeah. Linear gearbox, falling sky, seven holy stakes, a docked ship, a portal to another world, a thin rope tied to a thick rope. Uh, what? A lone harness? Uh, a torn, a torn harness, parabolic gearbox. Expanding universe, true controlled by slipping cogwheels. Existence of God, swimming with open water in all directions, drowning. A prayer within, a prayer written in blood, a prayer written in time-devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A calid... Balls. A caliodis... Cal Kaleidoscope, a kaleidoscope of holy stakes, Exper ex exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disappearing the existence, oh, God disproving the existence of God, that's meta, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears and a, tick and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times every time it ticks every second time, a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time-devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. Breathing gearbox. Breathing bolt head. Breathing ship. Breathing portal. Breathing snakes. Breathing God. Breathing blood. Breathing holy stakes. Breathing human eyes. Breathing line. Breathing prayer. Breathing sky. Breathing wheel. Okay. Well, that's, um, intense. That face! Uh, did I? Oh, okay. That, okay. So I'm just, like, looking at the paper, looking at Yuri, looking at the paper, looking at Yuri, looking at the paper. Back to Yuri. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it's about. And my mind has been a little hyperactive lately so I had to take it out on your pen on my pen what so I had to take it out on your pen ah that is a, a, a pen full out of your oh here uh, th th that is a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday so I, I took it home for safekeeping and um, I um I just really like the way that it writes so I wrote this poem with it. Okay. Sure. And now you're touching it. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I'm okay. What did I just... I, ellipses of realizing what the hell I just said. I, can we pretend this conversation never happened? Uh, you, you can keep the poem, though. 
run away. Who should I show my poem to next? All right, Natsuki, tear me, tear me out. Just, just tell me how, what a waste of a human being I am. Let's go, Natsuki. I'm, I'm looking forward. I wait every day for this. I wait every day to have you tell me how terrible I am. Ellipses, like, ang ellipses of reading and anger and disgust. Yeah, just as I thought. Uh. Joshua, come on. I'm not stupid. I know how much time you're spending with Yuri. It's obvious that you care more about impressing her than trying to improve your writing. Well, you know what? I'm going to be honest with you here, Natsuki. Guilty is gosh dang charged. To put it bluntly, it's kind of pathetic. Oh, well, excuse me. Why are you even in this club, Joshua? Honestly. I thought getting a new member would help everyone get more involved together. Not excluding each other even more. Do you ever think that it's this is a, uh, a you problem, Natsuki? <laughs> Just saying, you know. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Oh, now she's like getting visibly upset. This is such a stupid activity anyway. Look, I'm not in a good mood today. I just don't feel like talking right now. Please go away. Just, just please go away. Well, so this is what happens when you have a very uneven. Again, I, I, I should try again. I wonder if instead of doing like 17 to three, if I did it like nine to 10, if that would, like, I wonder if it's bad to overly pick one of the girls. Like, I wonder if that drives them over the edge kind of thing. Like, mmm. Ah, so many questions unanswered. All right, I guess we got we to gotta talk to Manika. Ah. Hi, Manika. Joshua, I think, I, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. Uh-oh. Oh, God, she's on to me. She's on to me! I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I don't think I have a choice. Oh, there's, a, there's always a choice, Manika. Put down the gun. Put down the gun, Manika. It's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excited, excitable when she's around you. Which shouldn't be a problem in itself. But when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. What the f- You just- You don't just say stuff like that! You don't just- You don't just, like, bl bluntly, like... Oh, by the way, I just want to tell you that, um, you know, you talking to this person makes them want to die. By the way. Jesus, and the detail! You don't go into de- like, huh. This is some messed up crap, man. Isn't that kind of messed up? Don't you, don't you, don't you look at me with those cute eyes and like, isn't that kind of messed up? Like, ha ha ha. You, I don't like you. She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. Yeah. Mm okay. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed. <laughs> no, that couldn't possibly be it. That couldn't possibly it be it, Manika. Mm. Yeah, you and your 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 degree in teen psychology. Definitely, you're the, you're the voice you're the voice of reason. I think she gets. I think she just gets some kind of high from. It. What am I? What am I reading right now? What is this? This is this is messed up. It might even be like a. S <coughs> it might even be like a sexual thing. Okay. Okay. There's BDSM. And 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 like domination and submission. And then there's freaking cutting yourself in a corner by your that no I. I don't know. You know, I don't. I, I should. I. You know, who am I to talk? Like I know. Realize I just made fun of her not having a degree in teens. Like I know. Like I know. Like I know. But the point is, you're kind of being enabling her. You've you've kind of been enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault though. It's your fault. I'm not saying it's your fault, but it's your fault. 
But I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. No! No, dude, you're in. If you back out, she's going to hunt you down with those knives. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me! Could you be any more obvious? To put it lightly, I at least have it together in my head, and I know how to treat my club members. I don't... I don't want you, Monica. But anyway... You want to read my poem now? No, I don't. Please, stay away from me. <laughs> stay away from me and my family. <laughs> I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. S save me! Save me! <laughs> the colors, they won't bright. Beautiful. Flashing, expanding, piercing, red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent, greeting, waving, this way, more screeching, piercing, sine, cosine, tangent, like playing in our key for and array, but like playing with a knife on the breathing ribcage. Endless, endless pain of mining lessons. Foam. Deleter. Well. I've got to say, that's definitely my, this, 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 this bit, this is my favorite part. Beautiful. Mm. 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 Speaks to my heart. Oh, man. Mm. You know when you see something and you're just like, that's it, man. That's, that is it. That's it. Mm. Okay. Hi, Monika. Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. You know. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's Monika's writing tip of the day! Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game! You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything. Please help me. What the f Okay! That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. You have unlocked the special poem. Would you like to read it? Um, yes? Oh, happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts. That you, you... You bitch! You absolute anus! You have... Mm, you have crossed the line. You have crossed the line. You will regret this, Manika. You will regret this day. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, you can click one of the links currently up on the screen. And if you want to see my newest content as soon as it's released, you can always subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again on the next episode real soon. Goodbye.